Hi, welcome to Bikini Destinations. I'm your host, Bobby Sue Luther, and in today's show, we're going to showcase some of the most beautiful models in the world and one of the most beautiful destinations in the world, Costa Rica. Costa Rica, often described as the Central American jewel, is a tranquil oasis amidst its turbulent neighbors. An eco-tourism haven, it's one of the best places to experience everything the tropics have to offer. Nestled between two oceans, Costa Rica is one of the most exotic and undiscovered destinations in the world. Pristine beaches, virgin rainforests, and warm, hospitable people make Costa Rica the ultimate in relaxation and tranquility. Today, we get hooked up with a couple of surfing legends and Costa Rican regulars Sam August and Robert Wingnut Weaver who will play host to bikini destinations throughout our stay. From beachfront horseback riding to the top of the rainforest canopy, our models will experience everything that Costa Rica has to offer. Oh yeah, did I mention a surfing lesson? Pro style. All coming up on Bikini Destinations Costa Rica. Welcome to Costa Rica. Jump in with the alligators. You'll have a good time. Costa Rica may be a natural paradise, but it doesn't mean our girls have to rough it. Calaluna Hotel and Villas welcomed bikini destinations with open arms and unparalleled luxury. Located in the coastal rainforests overlooking the Pacific, Calaluna is the epitome of Costa Rican opulence. Fifty villas are surrounded by endless tropical rainforests, numerous swimming pools, and beautifully manicured grounds. Bikini Destinations is blessed with a beautiful luxury villa with extravagant Costa Rican architectural appointments and a private swimming pool. While the girls get settled in, let's meet our first Bikini Destinations model. My name is Bobby Sue Luther. I'm originally from Lothian, Maryland, but I live in Los Angeles, California. This is not my first time in Costa Rica. I'm actually on the cover of the Pilsen calendar, which is uh, Costa Rica's beer uh, for 2004. This trip has been a lot better because instead of being shooting based, it was a lot more you know, activity based as well as shooting. So there's a lot more activities involved, which is really nice. Uh, the past year and a half, I've been on a show called Junkyard Mega Wars and you know, I love acting, I love hosting, but I would have to say hosting is my favorite of the two because I get to be myself. I get to be a dork, or I get to mess up, and it's not that big of a deal. And, uh, you know, you get to be around people that you just have a blast with. And it's always new and exciting, and you're always learning something. And it's really a great job. I'm really blessed that I'm able to do what I'm, I do. I think what makes a, a great model is, I can't really speak for other models, but 
it's they're aware of their sensuality and sexuality typically. I think that what makes a great model and a great poser is somebody who's very comfortable in her own skin and is willing to take chances with herself and try new poses and try new things. Because sometimes if you push the limits, you see what your body can do and, and you learn new things about what makes you look beautiful and what makes you feel comfortable. So that's what truly makes a good model. Trying new things, being very well aware of herself and, and you know, be willing to make some mistakes. It's not that big of a deal. It's only a photo. <laughs> Ultimately, my goal is, um, you know, staying in the entertainment industry, trying new things, pushing myself to the limit, seeing what I can accomplish. And if I could be on a show like Bikini Destinations, that would be wonderful. And traveling around the globe, that would be amazing. And uh, hosting or acting and just keeping in the industry. Right now, I'm able to do that, and I love to keep that momentum and just keep going and going and going till I can't go anymore, <laughs> until no one wants to see me. Next, Bikini Destinations models get a lesson in the ancient sport of surfing. Hi, I'm Wing Nut. I live in Santa Cruz, California, but I gained a little bit of fame thanks to Endless Summer 2 and Step Into Liquid. So for the last 10 years or so, I've been hanging my hat down here in Costa Rica in the Tamarindo area. I take people on surf trips and try to make them have as much fun as possible. So the basic concept of the surf, surfboard is pretty simple. It's all a balance deal. So you're just trying to find that balance point right in the middle of the board. So your target zone is this blue stripe that's right in the middle of the board. That's where you want to go from your stomach up to your feet and try to get them about shoulder width apart, right on that blue stripe. Keep your knees bent, they're your shock absorbers, and down the beach you go. So it's pretty simple. It's just that awkward move jumping from your stomach to your feet. So I'll have you practice it once or twice and then we'll jump right in the water. Wingnut and I, um, I get on a few of his trips a year and uh, we get down here and it's a full service uh, surf tour guided trip. When I got the phone call from uh, Bikini Destinations, I was, I was pretty stoked. I you know, went and did some research on it and saw it was really professionally done and just loved all the angles and uh, the beauty of the shows it was really sweet. So I was stoked to be a part of that. Working with bikini models has to be one of the uh, more unique requests I've had in a long time. I take executives, I take families, but to get a call from Bikini Destinations that I'm going to come down with Sam and we're going to host a bunch of bikini models, it's like, is it Christmas? Is it Christmas in the middle of summer? Well, it is my birthday next week, so I understand a little bit, but it's pretty amazing. I mean, what a, what a really neat group of women. I mean, they had a great spirit, they were game to try anything, and they all love getting in the water and going surfing. I've never had a more gorgeous group of people to play with. Surfing was unbelievable. Sam, Wingnut, they like they really know what they're doing, honestly. They showed us what to do. It took a few times, but uh, we all got up. That was so cool, you know. We all fell a few times, we got up a few times, so I can't wait till tomorrow though because that way we're gonna get, you know, our muscles will understand more. We'll just pop right up, look like pros. I think it'll be good. Hi, my name is Bethany Markley and I'm from South Carolina. This is my first time in Costa Rica, actually, and it's been an awesome trip. It's really fun. Probably my favorite thing that we've done since we've been down here is surfing, definitely. That's been a, something I really wanted to try. We went horseback riding, that was awesome. I think what was so fun about surfing was, you know, that we were out on the beach, and I'm, you know, a little scared of water. It's not really... You know, you never know what's going to happen. You might have a shark come up and bite you or, you know, whatever. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but once you get on top of the board and, you know, going through the waves, it was just a really cool feeling. I don't know, it was really hard to explain. It was very cool. I've only been modeling for about two years. Um, I started with the Hooters International Swimsuit Contest. Got a little taste of that, um, didn't place or anything. Moved on through Hawaiian Tropics, and then I went to American Dream where I won my first cover for the American Dream, uh, sponsored by Trim Spa, and I got the cover girl for that, so that was really cool. This is 
is definitely the best job that I think that you could ever get. I mean, you get to travel around the world. You get to meet so many different people, and you know, I really like to meet a bunch of people, meet all these different personalities. You get to see the world. You get to try new things, like you know, surfing, and so it's it's just amazing, you know. modeling and yeah the cameras are going and it's uh, a different kind of feeling it's kind of nerve-wracking at first because you're not really sure um, how you're coming across towards the camera or you know what everybody else is thinking you're going you know now do I, do I look right do I sound stupid you know you have all these thoughts going through your head but you just kind of have to forget it and you know yeah you just totally zone everything out and it, you do you feel sexy once you see the pictures or you see the you see the show it's like uh, you know it's a really such a cool feeling love it Bikini Destinations will be right back. Welcome back to Bikini Destinations. Here we are in Costa Rica. We've got a bunch of horses, the Bikini Destination models. We're really not supposed to be on the beach, but what the heck. When you've got this many pretty girls, you can just get about... Yeah, away with anything. So we're gonna go take our horses down the beach. This is my horse Paloma, and we're gonna just go have a time of our lives. Come on, girls. What do you think? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'm so excited to ride these horses on the beach. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm still scared. <laughs> There's no better way to experience a Costa Rican beach than on horseback. Tamarindo has miles of unspoiled and unburdened coastline, including secluded lagoons and white sand beaches. a blast riding the horses on the beach. Nice change from surfing once in a while. Oh my god, it's been such an amazing afternoon. My little horse here is a little crazy. I had to switch out with Melissa and give her Paloma, but you know what? It's been absolutely amazing. It looks like it's going to rain, but at least it's cooling off. These guys are. They're sweaty as anything. We've been getting them quite a ride. I think the girls are having a blast. I know I am. It's unbelievable to be on a horse like this and run up and down the beach in Costa Rica. Best experience. I suggest you do it as fast as you can. Come on. At the first opportunity, Mary, Sam, and Wingnut break away for some quality surf time on Costa Rica's renowned breaks. There's never a dull moment when you're surfing and traveling with Wingnut and Sam, August. Uh, they're pretty great guys. Um, I've been fortunate enough to come down here with them in Costa Rica, and it's, it's been awesome. And uh, Wingnut is never ending. He's always going nonstop, full of energy, like helping everybody. Everybody knows them, you know, where you go. You can't walk down the street without people going, Wingnut, Sam. Um, they're awesome guys, great surfers, and just fun to be around. Mary Osborne's one of the top female surfers in the world. I mean, she's really gained fame in the longboard thing more than shortboarding, although she shortboards really well. She won the MTV Surf Girls show, which kind of launched her into another stratosphere of you know, celebrity. But she's just a, you know, a down and dirty California surf girl when it comes down to it. You know, she'll sleep on the ground, doesn't complain about a thing. You know, I, I know more guys that complain about stuff than she does. The girl can surf. I mean, she really is fun to watch in the water. She's got a really unique and distinctive style. And it was fun seeing her have to go into the model mode. You know, we know her from the beach mode. So seeing her go into model Mary, that was pretty fun. My name is Mary Osborne and I'm from Ventura, California. So 
Tamarindo is pretty neat. We got um, lots of nice restaurants and shops, and beyond that, there's amazing waves all up and down the coast. You don't have to drive too far, you know, on the bumpy dirt roads. But uh, everywhere you look, there's good waves. I started surfing when I was about 14, but I was raised um, on a beach called Solomar in Ventura, and I have three older brothers who are all amazing surfers. They actually shortboard, and for some reason I started out on a smaller board and I went bigger and bigger and bigger to the longboard, and I've been surfing now for about eight years. <laughs> it's a little awkward shooting beauty stuff. Uh, we don't normally have to do that. Most of the stuff I shoot is just lifestyle, walking out of the water, just when you're not paying attention, they're shooting cameras always. But uh, posing and having a camera right there and trying to be sexy is a little bit different for me. <laughs> the horseback riding is awesome. I love horses, and especially when you get to ride them on the beach, which is rare because back at home, you never really get to ride horses on the beach. So coming to, you know, other spots or other destinations, it's awesome. Ride them in the water, all up and down the beaches at sunset. It's pretty beautiful. I'd come back to Costa Rica in a heartbeat. I'd maybe even come back for a little bit longer than a week, maybe a couple months. Bikini Destinations will be right back. Welcome back to Bikini Destinations. My name is Melissa Smith and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm in LA singing, acting, dancing, modeling. I love the arts. I've been like singing, dancing ever since I was little. I knew I was gonna move out to LA, and as soon as I moved out to LA, I got into some acting classes, got myself an agent, a manager, and kinda everything took off from there. I love Costa Rica. Costa Rica is amazing. First of all, it's so beautiful. You have the mountains surrounding you, the warm water, just the amazing weather. It was great. Modeling, I feel extremely sexy. I have never done anything like this before. We're in an exotic location. The weather's amazing. You put camera crews around you. You're dressed in these sexy hot bikinis, jewelry, makeup. I mean, you're all done up, and you've just got the beautiful surroundings to use and the camera, and you feel hot. I'd have to say the funnest thing that I did in Costa Rica was surfing. I thought it was amazing. The first time you just ride a wave, it's just, you have the most amazing feeling. I mean, I can't even describe it. It was awesome. Costa Rica is indescribable. I've never been to Costa Rica, so it's very tropical. You have the mountains, you have the water, just beautiful beaches. I thought it was great. Here we are in beautiful Costa Rica, about to do a canopy tour. What we're going to do is zip across the trees in harnesses from tree to tree by cable. It sounds a little scary, but it should be fun. Are you ready, girl? Absolutely. Yeah. I think I'm ready for this. I hope so. What's 
What did I get myself into? I don't know. It's so much fun. I was so nervous though, but I'm so much better now. I can't wait to like go on to the next one. Check it out. I'm about ready to go in the dark. This is like pitch black. Final bikini destinations model. My name is Jennifer Garris, and I'm originally from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but I've been in California for about seven years now, so I'm basically a native. I'm pretty adventurous. Just in the last month, I've been in Mexico, Hawaii, East Coast, West Coast, whatnot, and here in Costa Rica, so I do like to travel a lot. This is the first time I've been in Costa Rica and it is amazing. It's like complete wilderness, jungle, beach, and everything all bunched together in one. It's amazing. I've been acting for a while now, I guess, since I've been in LA. I started on Young and the Restless back in 97 and did that for a few years and took a little hiatus and did a few movies, went back and forth. Whenever they need anyone to cause trouble, I go back to Young and the Restless and cause trouble. And then when they get tired of me, I go off and do something else. It'd be nice if I felt sexy when I was shooting like that, but I, honestly, I kind of sometimes just feel a little awkward and silly, <laughs> but I try my best. <laughs> Highlight since I've been here, I think the number one highlight was surfing. Definitely surfing. It's only the fourth time in my life I've ever surfed. And I was pretty excited about it. Getting taught by like the best in, in the world. <laughs> the canopy tours are really cool. Actually, I thought they were going to be scarier than they were. But it was really cool. It was amazing to see the wilderness as, as you're flying through it. It's really cool. Being that high up didn't really worry me because I'm not really afraid of heights. I've tried to scare myself before and gone on top of a mountain and looked down and like try to frighten myself and go right to the edge. And it's kind of more of a thrill for me than like being scared. So I take that. just flown on a red eye from LA all night long and then I came here and shot at sundown so <laughs> I might have had bags under my eyes I don't know but it was fun it was a beautiful sunset it is rainy season here so there you go. But that's why we have such beautiful vegetation here, I suppose. <laughs> we'll meet again. I don't know when, and I don't know where. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Until next time, goodbye and Godspeed from all of us at Bikini Destinations.
Stand by. Stand by. Don't fart. <laughs> Oh, that was and look up. <laughs> See how I can hold it up, cracking up. <laughs> <laughs>